Um, so, so thank, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And by the way, we have just signed a contract to make the moon as a harsh mistress into a movie. Well, that's just for you. Just for you. Thank you. I, I would like to ask how old you were when you first read Heinlein. Uh, I guess I was about uh, 19, 18, 19. I see. Well, we want to catch them even younger now. <laughs> okay, well, are there any questions from the audience? I realize this is a little unconventional yeah. in a presentation. But Absolutely happy to answer questions. Let's, anybody have a question? You call on them, please, Elon. Sure, yeah. We've got microphones set up. If you want to get to the mic, Pat. Uh, anybody across here? Um, are you having any challenges in terms of firing, hiring? Well, we, um, you know, hiring great people is always tough in any company, um, and um, uh, but, but I think we've been reasonally successful in doing so. Uh, we we, um, we grew from uh, 800 to uh, 1,200 last year, uh, you know, in, in the span of last year, um, and uh, and this year we'll probably grow by another sort of 20, 25 percent. Um, so I think we're making good good progress. It, it's a, it's, a, it's actually more. Um, more of a challenge integrating people effectively into, into the organization. Um, you know, any any given organization, um, the, the out, output of any given organization is the vector of the people within it, uh, and um, and so if, if if you add people to to the organization, you've got to make sure that things are well aligned and they're able to uh, apply themselves to their full potential. That that's that's one of the toughest things. I'm going to answer that one too, Elon, because. Uh, Back in 2009, a aeronautics professor at the University of Michigan was interviewed for Aviation Week. He wrote an editorial. And he said that in the last 10 years, his 10 best students, he knew who they were, and five of them were working for SpaceX. And that was more than any other company. So it's not just quantity, it's right. quality, too. That, that's Anything true. else? When I read that article, I was like, damn, we missed five. Did you have a question? Mrs. We tracked them down, by the way. So the question is, that Uh, well, I do think engineering has a marketing problem, uh, unfortunately. Um, I, I do think it's cha changing a little bit with uh, the um, uh, with Silicon Valley companies that that have uh, um, really um, gr grown dramatically in, in, in the past several years. Um, you know, like Google and Facebook and, and so forth, uh, and Yahoo. They were all started and run by by engineers. Um, so I think we're, we're starting to see a bit of that. It's but it's more in, in the kind of the software engineering arena. Um, I, uh, I I do think one I, one of the biggest uh, uh, sort of misapplications of talent is far too many smart people going into finance in the United States. Um, you know that's sort of the capital allocation game. But but re you really need to actually be making. Products and services that people really use. That that should really be where where the smartest people go. Um, I, I think we need to perhaps somehow change the rules of the game uh, such that finance is not so rewarding. Um, um, and that, to some degree, that may have a, that may have occurred in recent years. Uh. <laughs> well, thank you for not saying anything about lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anybody else? Is that it? I got a question. Uh, speaking of which, um, you know, for the finance community, how did the finance community invest? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, SpaceX is actually, uh, we've, we've been um, slightly profitable for the last four years and I expect to be that this year again. Um, so we, we don't have a, an, an immediate need for capital, um, but uh, 
I think that there's a good chance that we will IPO the company uh, next year. Um, the public markets are, are a very efficient way to, to raise capital, um, and um, I think, I think we, we may need to well, – it's, it's probably a, a, a good move to, to have a capital reserve. Um, and uh, yeah, but, but there's some debate about that because if we do go public, you know, how will the public markets uh, respond to super long-term thinking? You know, it's like making life multi-planetary. Um, but, you know, that, that's a kind of a long horizon return. Um, but I, I mean, I'm going to tell people that it's, it's see how they react and, and, and see if, if the public markets are willing to support that. Um, if, if so, then we, we, we might IPO towards the end of next year. Anything else? Well, thank you very much, Elon. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I'd like to thank all of you as Heinlein's children for taking time from your busy lives to come here to honor Elon and to uh, help the uh, Heinlein memory. Uh, click up your copy of the book on the way out. Uh, it's free. And if you want to get all of the books, pick up the copy of the Virginia edition uh, uh, flyer, and you can order it online. Pay for it with PayPal. <laughs> Okay. Right. <laughs> stand up. Thank you.